Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander. Last time we got promoted, we got a new ship, and we also got the Bronze Star, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got going on here on the Tiger's Claw today. Let's talk to Shot Glass, as usual. Iceman and Knight. Hmm, okay. Ah, a reliable pilot. Okay, good. I'd like to fly with him at some point, then. Oh, so he's not flashy, so he's kind of not really like the Flash Man at all. I guess he just kind of gets it done. Ah, the Iceman. Now, that's actually important, viewers, because later on, um, not in this Let's Play, but in a very, very future Let's Play, we'll be having a connection with the Iceman again. So, he's got Freon for blood. Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to him. Let's see what he's super doing. Oh, he's cleaning his gun. Oh, man. Wow. And Hunter looks like, or Knight, rather, looks like he's just having some chow. Well, let's talk to the Iceman. Maverick. They call me Iceman. Okay. The skim's a gun-heavy slug. I guess that's our new our new uh, carrier or our new ship then. Okay, great. So it's kind of like it's got heavy armor, so I'll just uh, blast right in there. Okay, sounds good. Oh, well, Hornet. That's the uh, ship that we flew before with the blue gun. Ah, and a new rapier. Ooh. Okay, I guess that's equivalent to the Excalibur then. All right, then let's talk to Knight. Ah, yes, thank you. Okay, sounds good. It's not as fast or as nimble. Ah, excellent. So I can blow things up faster. Oh. <laughs> well, in this game, you know, I really don't think sp speed and um, and movement aren't as big of a deal as they were in Wing Commander 3. So that's important. Okay. Well, we're in the McAlfee uh, system, I guess I'll call it. And we got a medal. So let's see what we have to do today. Okay. 15 minutes into the briefing. Okay. So it's not, not as bad as the last one. Okay, we're the second wing, the beta wing. Hey, we get Paladin. All right, this is another historic first that we're flying with Paladin for the first time. Right. Okay, we just jumped in. Oh, we're just still running some patrols. Okay. Fair enough. Let's check it out. Okay, we got four navs. All right, sounds good. Hmm, some mines. Uh-oh. A Kilrathi minefield. All right, will do. Okay, ooh, Iceman and Angel. That's an interesting combination. Okay, so he's completed everything. No hands are raised. Thank you very much for that. Let's do it. All right, let's see what this bad boy can do. Okay, well, it's an interesting color. Ooh, we got some green guns. All right. Well, that's an interesting looking thing there from the back. Kind of looks like an alien spacecraft, I think. Oh, well. Well, hopefully it's got some use. Okay, asteroids. Oh, great. These weren't on the map. Don't worry, viewers. Those are, those are fake asteroids. I don't know why they're there, but they're not really asteroids. You don't have anything to worry about. Okay, well, let's see what this new ship can do. Okay. No, I'm not letting you loose. I'm seeing what my new ship can do. You just hang on there. Okay, come on. Come on, Mr. Drowthy. Let's see what you got. Oh, wow. Man, this thing is pretty powerful. Nice shooting there, Blake. Okay, let's see. Which one's going to come after me? Let's check this one. Okay, let's see if we can take this one out just as fast. Oh, almost. There we go. Two down, one to go. Ah, again, the ramming technique will be good uh, with this thing because it's, uh, it's also got some heavy shields. Let's see if I can get it. No, it's too far away. Come back here. Whoa! Yeah, you need to watch out for those little blue things. Those are mines. All right, but no match for us. Now, the, set, the stupid thing is we can't auto because it says there's a hazard nearby. See? That's all right. But again, it's not really there, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now, you need to be careful in this one because I believe around 18,000 clicks, we're going to start seeing some mines. Let's see if they show up here. Yep, so maybe it's NAV3 that they're at, though, those mines are. Yeah, you don't have to worry about running into asteroids here. But there may be some mines that occur, so let's just be wary of those. I'll show you those. The good thing about mines is they don't appear as frequently. Not in this one, anyway, so let's see if they, see if they start showing up here in a little bit. Yep, there they are. So, the good thing is you can just kind of dodge them kind of quickly because, again, they, uh, they don't appear as frequently, and you can kind of get out of their way a little bit faster. Okay, good. No problems there. So believe it or not, you can actually afterburn through this. Slightly around the afterburners. Again, if you hit by a mine, though, you die. 
Okay, fair enough. Okay. Made it through, no problems. So I'll auto on to the next zone and see what's coming up next. Man, I, I gotta say, it's, been, it's nice getting back into this game again. It's a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, oh, we got some more fighters. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Who's coming up? Ooh, some Southies. Okay, let's see how quickly this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, Skimitar can make work of these Southies. Let the muscle go. There we go. Piece of cake. Where's the next one? You want some of me, boy? Little kill Rafi scumbag. You know, it never gets old killing these cats. No matter how many times you have to kill a kill Rafi, there's just something about it. You know, uh oh, shot a missile. There's something about it, just leveling it that just kind of, you know, uh, makes you feel good about yourself. Now, don't get me wrong, viewers, I'm actually a cat person. I love cats. But, uh, you know, not cats that are gonna. There we go. That are going to, uh, you know, try and kill me with their claws. Ah, ran out of blaster power. That's right. By the way, I have a heat seeker missile. That that javelin HF. That's a heat seeker missile. That's a heat seeker missile. So I could use that if I wanted to, but that's all right. All right, piece of cake. Auto on to the next zone. I probably could have just after burned on the next zone. That'd have been just as easy, but eh, why not? Just to be safe. It's just kind of a a uh, instinctive reaction. Okay, and that's it. And I got all the Kilrathi kills. Paladin wasn't very helpful on that mission. He only said one thing to me, and that's, Ugh, let me loose, Lottie, will ya? But, nope, we made quick work of them, and... All right, then. Let's, uh, land. Great. Man, that thing looks pretty cool landing. It looks pretty powerful. It did not get hot out there. What are you talking about? I dominated. And the debriefing. Paladin's hair was a lot shorter than the last time I remember. Yes, thank you. I got all the kills. Of course, it was well flung. Well, nothing to it. Yeah, he didn't really do anything. <laughs> I like this. Or the colonel will start expecting more from me. Okay, let's go over it. I killed seven kill Rathi. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Now what did I do? Oh, boy. Well, at least he let me shower first. You can speak with Sector Command, okay? Okay. Hey, hey! We got a promotion! Yay! We're now a First Lieutenant. Fantastic. Good job, everybody. Slowly making our way up the ranks. That's great. Okay, well, another successful mission. Looks like we have some new people to talk to next time. So we'll do that in the next episode. Man, we're doing well. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.